friends, welcome back. We are in San Francisco for the remainder of the holidays. I'm so thankful for my two week break that my office gives me. So it should be a really chill week, hanging with my family, seeing some old friends, and you know, obviously eating a lot of good food as always. It freaks me out to think we'll be in 2023, but at the same time, so much has happened in 2022 that I'm very thankful for. Honestly, at the start of 2022, I don't think I had really started making food content in the same way that I do now. I was hoping to make a career switch in 2022, which I didn't, but we'll have some interesting things coming in 2023. I moved to LA in 2022 and so many other things. As always, I really appreciate you all coming along this journey with me and uh, following along these vlogs to see, honestly, the arc of my career. All the way from high school and college to graduating and being a young adult and trying to pursue my dreams of working in the entertainment industry, which I feel like I really did accomplish, like 2022 was a year where I was like, whoa, I work in Hollywood. Now I need to decide where I wanna go from here. Can I start? Thanks. Okay. Hey, it's all downstairs, a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, here we go. My mom got this, this really little, nice bread from the mill in San Francisco and my family goes feral for this bread. <laughs> Is it that good, Daniel? Bless our time together. Bless uh, this... Christmas season. Right, went in. Wait for me to place it online if I don't. Very difficult. Very rainy day in San Francisco, but I thought it'd be fun to take my younger sister Danielle to this little restaurant slash oyster depot that's called Swan Oyster. It's a very popular San Francisco establishment and it's really hard to get seating there because it's a tiny little area that's really famous for having amazing fresh raw seafood and I've never gone so I thought that it would be fun to try it while I'm here and while I'm not working which is the critical element. So we're here to sit out and wait in line in the rain to hopefully get some really good fresh seafood. We got our British Columbia, Washington, and California oysters. This is Sicilian sashimi with scallops, salmon, yellowtail, and then tuna. And then our chowder. This looks so good.
about to get a haircut here in Japantown. I'm hoping I don't get my hair botched like last time. <laughs> Here's a full look at the haircut. It's funny, when I left, Sally styled it to flare out, which is like generally how I prefer my hair, that it like goes outward versus in like a little mushroom, but my hair just wants to do what it does, so I'm just letting her be my little mushroom self. Because we've been long distance for so long. Literally, it's New Year's Eve, and I told myself that I was gonna wake up at 7 a.m., have a really productive morning, exercise, get some work done before meeting my two best high school friends for lunch. I ended up waking up at like 10, so none of that happened. Actually, I did work out for like 20 to 30 minutes, which is just me absentmindedly lifting weights while watching YouTube videos that I need to catch up on. Um, but now, getting ready to go out to get some lunch. It is raining like crazy. I showered so you can see what my hair looks like, not styled by the salon. And honestly, I like it better. It is much later in the day. I've not vlogged because nothing that exciting has been happening. I was really just like doing work on my computer and hanging out with my family. But it's New Year's Eve, so we have some plans. I'm wearing not sweatpants, which I've been wearing for the rest of this week. I don't know, your girl gets sleepy and the Ubers get really expensive after midnight. So we'll see if it's even worth it. But I'm excited to just be able to hang out a little more with some friends. <laughs> I prepare for a new year I switched out my planner I use Mossery planners because you can keep the exterior and then just change out the pages inside so I have my January 2023 planner in here I also took some time to think about goals I want to accomplish for the next year and I also try to take stock of things that I'm really proud of from the past year um, besides things that I'm proud of that I've been able to document here a few things that I am hoping to work on. I hope y'all can help keep me accountable for, in addition to, of course, just refining my content, are to start Korean tutoring. I want to start getting a therapist and I want to decorate my bedroom and really improve my space since I'm gonna be in LA for quite some time. So if you have any uh, New Year's goals or reflections, would love to hear them in the comments. And I just, once again, thank you guys so much for sticking with me for this past year. It really, really, really means so much. I can't tell you how much it means to me, so. Love you guys.